Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as the recording of this. It is Monday, March 13th, 2023. The last day of my tenure here in Las Vegas. I'm staying just off, just out of town on the outskirts. I will be getting in my rental car, heading down to the strip, meeting up with some friends, and just gonna see where the day goes. No real game plan, maybe get some food, see some sights. Hopefully I can catch some of the free shows at some of the casinos that you can just see in passing see where the day takes me. I'm inviting you to join me. Shout you. I have made it down to the Vegas Strip. Parked up here on top of the Bellagio parking structure. Top floor, pretty nice. Get a good view. Eiffel Tower recreation over there in the distance. Planet Hollywood over here, the water show. And it's a big Ferris wheel here, kind of like at Icon Park in Orlando. It looks pretty awesome in here, all set up for spring with all the flowers, the spring flowers. Look at this bird. I almost thought that bird was real for a minute. Yeah, from this angle, that bird almost looks real, doesn't it? I think it does. Kind of look real. And over in the distance are two oversized swan. Oh, a fly just landed on my, oh, a fly flew off, but a fly landed right on my arm. Check it out. It's like a corridor of flowery hearts. Now take a look at this lobby. All the like, I guess there's like umbrellas up there. No, those are probably flowers. They're like flowers up on top of the roof. And not only are there flowers there, there's like a huge golden horse over here in the corner. Why is this here? I have no idea, but there's a big golden horse right below all the flowers that look like umbrellas here in the middle of the lobby. By the way, Dano's here. Hey, what's what, up? What'd you call this? The disco horse. This is thing. The disco horse. Shine a light on it. It could, yeah. You could do like the boogie, 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 boogie down the Bellagio. <laughs> nice. And also Danny is here. I might get confused. Dano and Danny. Wait, no, you gotta, you gotta I'm picking up a theme here. <laughs> Both Vegas locals, so maybe you'll teach me a few things today. We have no, I have no game plan, by the way. We're just going to wander around. One of those days. Yeah, one of, these, one of those days. So we're heading out of the Bellagio now. <laughs> now. Have you guys ever been up in the Eiffel Tower before? No. You've never been up there? Yeah. I think it was they don't open until like 5. Oh, they open late at night? I would go up there. Can you go up in the balloon, the Paris balloon? No. That's just for show. I wish. That'd be cool. <laughs> I lift it up. That would be great. Kind of like Disney Springs balloon yeah. that never operates when the wind is open. I wonder if they lay up on the Paris Tower when it's windy and stormy. And there's also that big Ferris wheel, as I pointed out. And also, the water show here is not working at the moment. They have like some workers out there. They do like a project, like a show, a water show here with, that, with music and whatnot in front of the Bellagio. And I ended up grabbing a coffee, get a little piping hot caffeinated beverage for a little, a little Vegas stroll. I do want to go over to the Flamingo at some point too, over there. So we're going to go inside Caesar's Palace where they do a show every hour on the hour. So by the time we walk back there, it should be about time for the show. Into Caesar's Palace. One thing, I, the more I go to Vegas, the more I am getting a little more familiar with the layout of the land, but I'm still a newbie. I don't really know. I really don't know like my way around here. So I'm kind of learning as I go. This place is beautiful through here. I mean, just look at this. Look at the architecture of the roof up top and the design pillars and all that, the indoor for outdoor type of facade. All right, I probably misspoke, more for outdoor for indoor. I don't feel like it's an indoor building that looks like you're outdoors. You know, similar like an Epcot Center when you're you know, over in the Mexico Pavilion or you're inside Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland, you know, that kind of, same kind of, same kind of vibe. Unbelievable that all this exists off the money of casinos has been able to build all this stuff through Vegas. Is that King Triton up there? I think it might be. Now, last time I was in town last year, I missed the Atlantis show. They do a crazy show through here with lights, fire, pyro, things like that. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I made it back. It's a little bit of a walk from the main drag to get over here. We made it over here. We're gonna watch the Atlantis show soon. Have you ever seen the Atlantis show before? Quite a few times, yeah. It is really, uh, I, I missed it the last time I was here. In fact, last time we were here, we walked over here and hey. It was ending. I don't even remember what the, it is, but I just know it's pretty action-packed. There's a lot of fire, no fireworks, but there's fire, brimstone, and excitement. Oh, there's a, is there a fish tank over there? No, the whole thing, it's a whole aquarium. Oh. And they'll put it on the cameras in like 360 in a little while too. Okay. Look. look at the fish. Yeah, it's a real live fish tank. Look at this, there's a school of fish going by right there. And there's restaurants and 
shops all around this. These fish are just right here in the mecca of a mall, a Vegas mall. Now over there in that gift shop, also there is a, a digital aquarium up above, but there's one of the, the 587,000 Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas signs you see in different stores. <laughs> think of Vegas, you think of that sign. Whoever owns the rights to that, make it some cash. Oh, it's uh, royalty free. Royalty free. Yeah. So no one's making any money on the Vegas sign. We should make some and sell them. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll make some money out We could be royalty. How is it royalty free? That's unusual. Wow, okay. So anybody can make and sell a fabulous Las Vegas sign or a spoof. Interesting. Oh, what's this? I that was like a skeleton, but it's not. I'm excited about this show. Last time I missed it. What is that? What are you pointing at? He was giving him kisses, but he stopped. The fish was? Oh, look at that fish. Are these animatronics or are these real? They're real. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I saw some animatronics. Oh, yeah. I love fish tanks. I don't know, they're just so fun. Just looking at fish. Now Dana was just informing me over here at this gallery it used to be the entrance to the Journey to Atlantis ride, now owned by the actor that played Big Mama. Big Mama's house. It is now 101. Let's start on the hour at one, so should be starting momentarily. Oh, there you go. This He's standing up. Oh, look at this. It's like a sea princess. Oh, it's a dog. Oh, oh, he's calling the sun now. Here he comes. He's a warrior. Oh, wow. His sword just lit up. He's got a fire on his sword there. Oh, and there's fire happening over here, too. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is a battle of the siblings trying to get the throne from their dad. Who's, who's he going to choose? The daughter or the fire sworded son? There he goes again. Whoa. Wow, we got fire down here. There's a lot going on here. Stop the man. Whoa. Look at that. It's like a... That is very dangerous. Oh, so she's got the water, he's got the fire. That's what it is. We gotta pick who we're gonna choose. I want the fire-breathing, fire-wielding sun. That's who I want. Who are you gonna choose? Oh, the fire guy. The fire guy? Yeah. That boy. Oh. He, he lost. So she won. She won the vote. He doesn't want to decide. He's very sad. Look at his face. He's very, very upset. Oh, he is, he is ticked off. standing around in complete amazement at what just happened. I don't really know what happened. Who won? Who took, who took over the throne? We all won. Who took over the throne? Who? All right, that was pretty dang awesome. That was great. I was not expecting the crazy prehistoric pterodactyl up there to pop out. And he emit fire and brimstone upon everyone here in Vegas. The moral of that show that pretty much that I picked up is the fact that no one wins. So get along with your siblings. Do not argue because no one wins at the end. And the fall of Atlantis happened. No matter who, you know, the daughter wanted the throne, the male wanted, the son wanted the throne. No one got the throne. Atlantis fell.
and now gonna make our way out of here. Check out this spiral staircase here in this ornate, very beautiful little area on the way out of this. This is a, such an awesome casino. Is this supposed to be a version of like the Mandalorian, perhaps? I know, look at the bullet. I thought it was Grogu. You thought it was Grogu? <laughs> Mando, good to see you. One other note to add in, if you're gonna walk the strip and go from casino and resort to resort, you're gonna get your steps in. All right, now about to cross Las Vegas Boulevard. Well, maybe not yet. I thought we were, I thought we were gonna get the, I thought we were about to get the arrow, but I gotta wait for this other traffic. But we're about to pass Las Vegas Boulevard and we're gonna go this direction over towards the Flamingo. All right, now we're going. Margaritaville over here. Some people out here taking photos. Some cowboy, shirtless cowboys and showgirls as well. Getting some good photos with every, all the tourists on the strip. Okay, this is pretty dang exciting. The flamingos are out today. Look at this. The flamingos at the Flamingo Resort are out in full force. Of course, when I see flamingos like this, I always think of Three's Company, which is at the LA Zoo. But every time I see a flamingo, I think of Three's Company. This is awesome. You ever seen the flamingos before? Yeah. Yeah. I used to actually come down here, just hang out, and like take pictures of the birds. Really? So it was a weird hobby I got into. Like, the bird watching is like a real thing. Yeah. It's peaceful and nice. They used to have this African crane with like a big golden crown. It might still be here. It's okay. Been a while. They've got some cool birds around here. Kiwis. They have parrots that you used to be able to see. Yeah. They have parrots? There's another display over there too, so I think there might be penguins. Penguins? No penguins? No. Ah. Penguins are gone. Pe penguin Our fail. Black swan, but it didn't make it through the lockdown. Oh, no. Oh, wow. They were all off display for about three months. Yeah. That's right. And they're just, they've only been out for a week or so, but the black Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Because you were saying they were they were gone for a while. I guess they brought them back, they brought them back a week ago. Where have they, they've been on vacation for a couple years. There's a decorative waterfall here. It says Flamingo Las Vegas. And even the lights down here are pink like a flamingo. So this is also the little placard here dedicated to Benjamin Bugsy Siegel. Right up here. On this site, Bugsy Siegel originated a Flamingo Hotel stood from December of 1946 until December 1993. So they tore it down and built another one? Yeah, and the towers went up and all that too. Okay. So the towers are not, you know, original, but they were added a little bit later. Also, it's the oldest operating on the strip. So there's some outside the strip that are a little bit older. But yeah, as far as the strip goes, the Flamingo is the oldest operating one. I've never stayed here, but I would definitely stay here one day. Look at that sunburst up there, add into the, the effect. My name is Jamie. I'm one of the wildlife specialists out here taking care of these birds. All of these wonderful fish, these turtles. Hello, big man. I see you eyeballing me. You hungry or are you just looking handsome? You're exceptionally handsome, I know. It's a good sun basking spot. Bugsy here gets hand fed four times a day. So sometimes he's not too into his meals. We'll see. Again, he is of course named after Bugsy Siegel, the founder of the Flamingo way, way back in 1947. You're the oldest casino on the strip. Still standing. Hello, love. Look straight into the sun like all of them. Straight <laughs> into the sun. Can't see anything. All right, you're such a good boy. You wanna try to eat? Maybe? Think about it? Okay, or I'll just throw fish at you and talk. We can do that. He is hand fed four times a day. And he gets fed at 8.30 in the morning, 10.30, 12.30, and two o'clock. All different types of fish. It really just depends on what's in season, what we have. Right out in front of me, lots of those individuals. There are about 30 out here, so most of our smaller guys are still sleeping, I can see. All right, we are now, we had thought about going on the high roller wheel, but the line was really, 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 really long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the monorail over to the other end of the strip. Eventually we're gonna end up at Taco Loco Taco Place, but we'll pass some other stuff on the way there too. But we're gonna take the monorail. Oh, is this monorail launching? Look at this. Excellent. I gotta do it. There goes the monorail Vegas edition. Ah, that's a thing of beauty right there. 
sleek and elegant. Futuristic like. I have purchased a one-way ticket. We're all gonna get the one way and then when we get to where we're going, maybe we will buy another one way to get back. You could also buy an all day for 15, but we might just go down to one end and walk back. So we might only do one ride. If we need another ride on the way back, we'll we'll purchase another one. But five bucks for added. I think there's a local discount, but I'm not a local. So we got on this, starting at Flamingo, and we're going all the way to Westgate. Like it doesn't go right down the strip; it kind of goes off the strip, and kind of you can get a you can almost get a view of the strip from a distance. Kind of like a horseshoe type style when you're going from point A to point B. I do love being on a monorail. Our next stop is the closest station to Sydney Casino. The thing that's interesting about the Westgate is where Elvis, this is obviously an Elvis impersonator, but it's where Elvis used to perform back in the day. It was called something else. But his penthouse and everything was at the top of the Westgate. What is the Westgate now? This is kind of fancy. You go through here. To the side you go. I should also show a bird's eye map perspective, kind of how. So we were at the Flamingo, but it starts from MGM, but we got off at Westgate, pretty close to Sahara, and we're gonna kind of walk back. But you can see, it doesn't go completely down the strip, it kind of goes around it like this. And I just learned something new. Explain to me about the Elvis movie and Elvis being here and where we are right now. So this Westgate used to be the International Hotel. Yeah. So if you've seen the Elvis movie, you can see the penthouse up top, the very right. top of the building. That's his building, it this here. is it. His whole big show happened in here. That's cool. And. Star Trek experience. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. I've heard of it. A really, really cool immersive thing from the 90s. There's was like a full motion ride, themed food. Before we had Galaxy's Edge or any of that theme stuff, there was the Star Trek experience. And Maybe there's still some remnants of it left in this hotel. Maybe we'll see some, some relics. Some little something left over. Awesome. Yeah, right right there. Right so he had the whole top? Yeah. Wow. Elvis Suite. Elvis Suite. The Elvis Suite. Yeah. You ever been up there, Danny? I wish, no. We might be able to get close to the theater though, the front of the theater. Is that where he performed? Yes. Man, I want to get up there. I want to pretend I'm Colonel Tom Parker and go up there and treat Elvis badly. It is now basically a timeshare preview center, but if you go inside, you can still see how it still looks like Star Trek. They basically took the Star Trek experience in here in the hotel and they just didn't even get rid of anything. They just overlaid it with the timeshare experience. So you go in, Preview Center, you know, they're talking, they try to sell you something and whatnot, but they just let us look around a little bit. And there's also a gift shop next door. There's now a liquor store that used to be the gift shop for the Star Trek experience. That was, I wish I could have gone to this. It looks like it would have been really, really cool, but it still looks kind of identical. The layout and the style of the building itself, still very, very, very futuristic and Star Trek-esque. And here is Sean Connery. There's the International, which is what the hotel used to be called. Sean Connery from Diamonds Are Forever. Yes, yes, Miss Money Penny, yes. Okay, we are now headed towards, as Dano puts it, the big red building. The big red building, <laughs> Resorts World. Resorts World. We, didn't, we weren't able to get in the theater though. No, not even close. Not it even. Looks so different though. The last time I went through here, it was like very vintage, and just now I'm pretty sure they just laid a bunch of paint out. Yeah. It looks very big. Who's performing there now? Manilow. Ma Manilow. Very Manilow. I feel like the king would have loved the monorail. Now there's a very iconic sign here, very, very vintage here. You can almost picture say, tonight only, Elvis Presley. Right. So we're taking this little shortcut here. I'm looking at Circus Circus. I have to say, it's kind of seen better days. That uh, the sign is falling apart, the tent is discolored. Many years ago, the first couple times I came to Vegas, I actually stayed at Circus Circus. But look at the circus tent there. And then also, look at the signage up there. There's not even a sign. The top portion is, but the main portion of the sign is gone. Parking lot next to the Fontaine Blue is the convention center. They're having some sort of construction convention, construction materials. I always like the blinking neon. Slots of fun. Slots of fun. We have decided to grab a bite to eat as soon as the light changes here at Tacos El Gordo taco place that Danny suggested. It says to Tijuana, BC, now in Las Vegas. Tacos El Gordo. 
I do love some tacos. I can see the smoke. I see it's like freshly cooked inside there. Look at the mascot. He's got the he's got the cooking utensil and the knife and the chef's cap. Walking in here. I do like the mascot. Tacos. Hell. Gordo. All right, inside, this is the menu board. They have tacos, they have quesadillas, they have a vampiro, they have tostadas. Look at them over there, like, cutting the meat right over there, right off of the, the cylinder as well. This is gonna be pretty good. They got asada, they have steak asada. They have beef tongue. They are making this fresh, cutting up the meat right over there. I think I'm gonna get four steak tacos. Okay, he's just shaving it right off the side there. What was this? What is this called? Avogada or Elpa Store. Elpa Store, okay. So I am loading up here. I'm just getting everything on. I figured just throw, throw everything on there. I'm, I'm everything kind of got. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Thank you. All right, so you need some beverages. Now I'm walking over here to try to find a booth. Check it out. They have the mascot over here in the corner holding the two knives, and then they have the meat cylinder over here which i don't know what the specific word is but check it out right there thanks for making all this looks delicious now they have the traditional sodas but i am going to go with a bang i'm going to go they also have the orange which i do like orange i've had orange bang before but do they have they have the horchata i'm going to go with the i'm going to go with the horchata because i really like that kind of reminds me of like a liquid churro so just picture what a churro tastes like and liquefy it and that's pretty much horchata what'd you get uh, one up a store, two chorizo, and two carne asada. Love it. Okay, their topping bar does not have salsa. They put it on it. They have limes. What else do they have? Radishes up there? Radishes. What did you get, Danny? I got the asada tacos and then the al pastor as well. This is my favorite. So I got the asada yes. with everything on it. Yes. And this is el pastor? Yeah, yep. or they call it abogada as well. Yeah, that's pretty dang good. <laughs> it's got a little kick to it. I like it. I think it maybe it'll have a little too much kick, but it's probably because they put so much of the sauce on there. They said you want everything on all this, and I go, yeah, just give me everything. How dare it? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it. I didn't mean to ask you a question with your mouth full. This is one of my favorites. The line is usually so incredibly long. Out the door. Yeah. We hit it at the right time on a weekday. We did. You definitely put a healthy amount of toppings and meat on these things. I like that you can hear the, the, the clanking of the knife cutting the meat. They're on top of it here. Very, very fast service. This is kind of like the Vegas version of Hubgrass. It's like the Vegas version of Hubgrass right here. You ever seen those shirts at Disney World? My favorite color is Hubgrass. <laughs> no. They're pretty popular. This is like the Vegas version of Hubgrass. It's almost like imitation fake miniature golf course grass. We are now walking through the Venetian where they have these gondolas that will take you around by boat. And it appears as if the people who are pushing the gondolas will actually sing to you, they'll serenade to you if you so choose. Pay the admission price and you can get on a gondola and go through this resort, this casino. Just going down the waterway, right through the middle of a building. Also, it's got the whole nighttime, well, not nighttime, but it's got the whole outdoor for indoor thing going on in here as well. Which means no matter what the weather's like outside, due to how inclement the weather might be, it will not ruin your boat ride. He's rocking that boat over there, though. It's like swaying it back and forth, a canoe type boat. <laughs> Dedicated to Siegfried and Roy, masters of the impossible, created of an, creators of an unprecedented phenomenon, theatrical arts. Kind of makes me wonder though, when, when this resort goes away and it becomes the Hard Rock, I think this will end up staying here, or not. Oh, they even got their own star here too. Magicians of the, magicians of the country. There's like a, a bus right there. Do so you think they'll keep this once this turns into the Hard Rock? I don't know. I mean, like, I, have to, I would hope that they do. Yeah. But I don't know. It just doesn't fit anymore. What if they would sell this? You put this like 
you know, put it in your house, look at Siegfried and Roy. That's a huge sculpture. Look at this. Like this is my hand against the side of this animal's cheek. It looks like the Cave of Wonders. Cave of Wonders, yeah. <laughs> that chipped tooth. So here's the real question. Which one's Siegfried and which one's Roy? Ooh, uh, I think that's Siegfried with the, the bigger hair. Okay. And I think Roy's on the left, I think. I don't know. All right. I think. So you're saying Siegfried, Siegfried on the right and Roy. Roy on the left, I think. Your guess is as good as mine. Don't look in their eyes though. They have uh, hypnotizing pupils. You know, from this angle, this kind of looks like Patrick Swayze. A little bit. Right. Kind of has the, look, look like the Swayze there. I like these crystals too, out here. Kind of jag it up, you know. Guess time will tell if they're gonna get rid of this or not. Well, at least I came to look at it. Apparently this is the Siegfried and Roy closet, so maybe they'll keep it. Oh, this plaza is the Siegfried and Roy Plaza. I mean, it's a, right? SNR? SNR, yeah. Look at these lights. So at night, these it must shine on Siegfried and Roy's head. So maybe it will stay. It's kind of a staple of Vegas. You would hope so. I mean, there's plenty of Elvis stuff still around. Right, right, right. Yeah. Legendaries. Yeah. Are you looking it up? Yeah, I still can't tell them. Can't? <laughs> Even by looking it up online, you can't tell the difference. So, Siegfried does have the bigger hair, and Roy has the short... I could be... See, from this angle, it's different. Yeah. From this angle, I want to say Siegfried's on the left and it's Roy's on the right. One. Yeah, I have no idea. It's a mystery. <laughs> it's an artistic... It's at your own artistic discretion. Interpretation. You know what I'm going to go with? Their chins. Look at the line underneath his chin on the left. Yeah. That matches him on the left. That longer line. All right. With the one on the right, his chin is more shaped. So you're saying you're saying Roy and Siegfried. Uh, Siegfried on the left, and I'm changing what I said. You're earlier. changing. Okay. Swapping. Siegfried on the left, Roy on the right. All right. Is what I'm thinking based on their chins. Oh, this guy's got. A, he's putting his head in them. Oh my the tie of the mouth there. They are not amused. Right here off the side of the sidewalk. I wonder how many people have waded in here under the, you know, under the shroud of nightfall, the freaking a few, consuming a few too many Heinekens. Right, because it's just like nothing. You just walk right in here, right off the, right off the main street. So basically, over here, you got the the strip, and over here, you got the sculpture of an angel, headless angel, and then you can just get yeah, anybody can just walk in here. I would imagine more times than not every evening. People are doing a little waiting there, trying to get over to Caesar's Palace. That's a lot of water. That it? This was my last full day in Las Vegas during, well, at least during this trip. I mean, I'm sure I will come back at some point, but during this tenure, this was my last day, and it was a, it was a fun few days. Tomorrow, I will be heading out in the morning. I will be heading out to other destinations. I'll just go ahead and say it. I'm actually going to be starting to head home back to Florida for a little bit, starting tomorrow morning. So tomorrow will, you know, be be departing tomorrow morning out of out of Las Vegas. It's been fun. I'll see you in the next video. For now, this vlog is over. Viva Las Vegas.